everyone. Welcome to Home and Hearth Living. Laura Lynn here with my son Marcus. And we are getting into our first ever purple potatoes. Now we planted these. I was very excited about it. It was a big search, a big olive search for potatoes. And uh, these are the ones that we were able to grow this year. So he's going to get started. And I'm very excited to see if anything actually happened with these purple potatoes. Mm -hmm. We got to, we layered three times of soil on top of these as they were growing to help encourage the growth for potatoes. I see one. Yay! And they really are purple and we're going to leave the dirt on them and they're going to dry and so it helps toughen up their skin. Okay, but we're going to get as much as we can off. Okay, that's a tiny tater. <laughs> it, it could be a very interesting experiment what's going on here. <laughs> Might be easier just to dig in. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Okay, well, could you loosen up just a little bit and then we can, then we can all, all kind of dig in? Please and thanks. Yeah, just, yeah, I'll put these in the wheelbarrow. And this is the only uh, plot section that we put it in. So you have to get right down deep because that's where we went deep. Okay, well, I'm going to tuck in here. I've got a little friendly worm there. Let's see if we can find any potatoes or did we just grow a plant? Potato. A little tiny one. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I like the feel of the earth in my hands. I think you buried the potato that I threw over there. Uh-oh. You were supposed to put it in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> From what I'm seeing so far, it doesn't look overly successful, but we know for next year that maybe these don't work that way, and they work a different way. Some really tiny ones. I don't remember them saying what size the toes were supposed to be. Oops, more. And because we did layer and layers, we have to kind of make sure we're digging deep. There are the other tiny ones. They're not overly huge. Oh, there's a good size one. It's not bad. I think on average, the purple potatoes are smaller. Yeah? yeah. Oh, oh. A couple attached to the root there. Oops, wrong one. Tiny, tiny little one. <laughs> it looks like a blueberry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Get that one here. No, no, clump of dirt. We've grown, I think they were white ones before in recycle containers. And they That's turned out. Group. Okay. Um, and uh, they turned out well. So this is our first time putting them in a bed, and I really thought they'd be more successful than this, but maybe this is a successful crop. 
of these purple potatoes. I only put in like 10 toes, 10 potatoes. So, oh, 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 here's a big one. Or a couple of them. There we go. Get a little collection over here in the wheelbarrow. So it looks like they only formed at their roots and not actually grew up the vine like most potatoes do. That's a good one. Shoot it. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hey. So we hope there was another one. Oh, that's right. Oh, another little one. Oh, hey, Cricket, come here. I'll let you out, buddy. There you go. All for you, Jiminy. How long did you get married in the garden? All for you, Jiminy. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there was a couple little blueberry sized ones. It's a beautiful day. Well, beautiful morning. So. Right. Oh, 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 here. There. There. That's one on the surface. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a. Aww. We have a heart. <laughs> oh, I bum. You know, whatever. It's a heart. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, the size ones. That is. <laughs> that is adorable. Hi, Sophie. You gonna come dig? You're gonna dig in. Get up. Get up. Go dig. Go dig. <laughs> Go help. No. Right? <laughs> this one looks closer to an anatomical heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of the. The, the comical heart. Romanticized version. Yes. All right, so I think we figured this out. They're only at the bottom of the roots, so I'm gonna dig into the bottom of the roots of the plants that are here. That is what I am also trying to do. I think that the roots of this specific plant were a bit deeper. A bit deeper. <laughs> Oh, oh, not deep enough to actually make the potato. Though. Keep digging though. They might have just come separated from the root. This is the root stem itself. Don't give up. Those toes are ours. Don't give up. <laughs> Where's the Pope? Hey, there you are. Good girl. I apologize for just listening to headphones. Quite a bit. I wonder why. 
it's so different than the others. Yeah. Different lighting condition? Yeah. yeah, even though in the same bed, right? Yeah. A little bit too much income for that throw. Are you going to get the rest one, sir? Now the bed is almost ready for next season. Put some feed moss in it, some organic matter. Get some nutrients back in the bed. Though this hadn't been used in two years, this bed, so. And a lot of this is fresh soil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got a few of those. It's good. It'll. <laughs> That's the smallest one yet. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to pull them out until it Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I <laughs> Rock? It's rock. Yeah. It's dirt. <laughs> and that's a potato. Yeah, our tomatoes really need a good watering. Definitely. And you already got onto these? Nope. Okay. You, you do that and try to do a once through again with your hands, and I'm going to get finish them off. It. I don't think there's any more potatoes in the bed. No? Okay. Good job. You want to give them a shot of all we collected? Not a lot, but we learn for next year. Yeah. Maybe 
different potatoes. Yes, then well, we'll have to find them. That was the hard part there, Munchkin, was finding the right potatoes. There wasn't any to find. Enjoy the 2020. <laughs> <laughs> some kale that I'm going to take over to the chickens and then you can watch them gobble that up. They're going to love it. Getting some golden feathers there, Nora. Look at you. That's the other one that's got the blue, blue feet. The golden, golden neck and kind of white bum. Only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's four more? Let's see inside. Now the comb on that white one kind of concerns me just a little, but <laughs> we'll see. that we got from our purple potatoes. Not a lot, we're kind of disappointed, but it's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> at least we got some. At least we got some and we've never tried them before, so at least we can give a chance to try them. And we will look for other potatoes as soon as they be able to come into the season for next year so we can get a few more varieties planted around the, the, uh, the, the home here. So. Thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. And don't forget to click that notification button so you don't miss any of our videos here. And, home and hearth living and uh, we'll see you soon.